Hello, my name is Simon and welcome to the Retro News Roundup. The big headline for last month, well in my eyes at least, was that the Royal Mail in the UK released a retro gaming themed set of stamps. Titles featured included Sensible Soccer, Dizzy and Micro Machines. These certainly get my stamp of approval. That's right, a stamp of approval joke. I did it and there's nothing you can do about it. Seriously, what are you A fair helping of retro releases for the Switch last month, including five arcade archive titles. Penguin Kun Wars, Exerion, Bells and Whistles, XX Mission, and Tecmo Bowl. Other than that, the system received a HD remake of the rather ace Oddworld, Stranger's Wrath, as well as two Sega Ages titles, Shinobi and Fantasy Zone. The PS4 in comparison received four arcade archive releases, Penguin Kun Wars, Bells and Whistles, XX Mission and Tecmo Bowl. It already had Xerion, you see. The service also got a port of the ZX Spectrum's Saboteur. Two pieces of news for this segment this month, the first being the announcement of the Retron Junior, which will allow you to play Game Boy, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance games on your TV. It looks pretty nifty, but no pricing or release date details have been shared just yet. Second was the launch of the MB03 Plus Ultimate for the ZX Spectrum, which expands the capabilities of the 8-bit computer. One will set you back an eye-watering 400 euros. The Commodore 64 dominated the homebrew scene last month with five new releases. Cynthia in the Cyber Crypt, The Shadow of a Hawk's Mill, Into Hinterland World, Katabatia, and Crackpots. Next, the Amiga got two new titles, Rotator and Bagman. On other consoles, Who Dares Wins bravely stepped onto the MSX2, Voyage, a sorcerous vacation, cast its spell on the Master System, and Parachute safely landed on the ZX Spectrum. And to round off this segment, a Kickstarter was launched for Jim Power, which will be released onto the NES, SNES, Mega Drive, Turbo Graphics, and CD32 if the project is successfully funded. A copy, on any platform you wish, will set you back $50. One piece of news here this month, and it was that the most complete version of the unreleased Amiga title Stalker ever seen was put online. Three English language fan translations this month, two for NES games, Underground and Jumpin' Jack, Jack to Meme no Ki Monogatari. The third was no easier to pronounce, Madu Monogatari A, Doki Doki Vacation on the Game Gear. That's all for this month then, but thanks so much for watching, your support is massively appreciated. Also don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and have yourself a great day. I'll see you again very, very soon. Tribute? You steal men's souls! <laughs>